Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This project is a brand new project for the year 2018 and it was created by the Fantastic Ladies which is run by Jessica from Drew Team Baseball and Amanda from Amanda D. They're both here on YouTube and I'll link their channels in the description box down below along with the Facebook group for the Fantastic Ladies and the list of ladies that are doing this collab with us. As I said it is a year-long project and it's called lip service and it's all about finishing up your lip products all different kinds of lip products and you're gonna think I'm completely insane because I have a basket full of lip products here it says on the rules of the Facebook group for this particular event that we can do it however we want so what I'm going to do is I, in this introduction I will go through all of the items that are here in this basket and I know and you probably have already guessed that I will not be able to show you progress on all of these lip products in a month so when the monthly updates come I will just show you the ones that I have made progress on or the ones that I've been focusing on I'll probably do two or three at a time so that you can see the progress there and the the reason I have a basket this big full of lip products is just because these are the ones that I want to focus on in 2018 not necessarily that I want to use all of them up but using some of the ones from in this basket would be amazing. So that's what I'm going to do. There's lip balms in here. There's a lip palette in here. There's lipsticks. There's lip pencils. Uh, there's matte liquid lipsticks. I don't have any lip glosses. Oh, I do have, I have one lip gloss that's in here. So yeah, I'm just going to dig in. I will do swatches. This will be the longest video of the whole of this project. So this is where we go through everything that's in my basket. And as I said, on the monthly we'll do if I finished ones we'll do those you know what I finished up until now and the progress for the ones that are still remaining if I've used them that month if I've not used them and they're still in the basket unused I won't talk about them in updates so I'm just gonna start digging into the basket the first thing I have is the Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in Rush and that's what that one looks like I will go ahead and mark these all on paper and what I'll do is I'll insert photos at the end rather than every 10 seconds holding up the bit of paper. It might get a bit confusing whereas if I did photographs of the piece of paper with all the lines on then you'd be able to see comparisons of what's what's soon to be finished, what's going to take ages. I have a MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl. You can really tell the difference between those two. This one's really super creamy and the MAC lip liners are a little bit stiffer and that's Whirl there. They are a similar shade but Rush is just a little more pinky and Whirl is a little more brown. I have this unnamed Water Strong Liquid Eyeshadow and Eyeliner but I am going to use it as a lip liner because of the shade of it. I would never have this on my eyes. And the nib just broke off of that. Thank you. And that's what that one looks like. That is a rosy pink colour. I have a Make Me Up lip crayon. It doesn't have a shade. And it's like a rosy red colour. It's not like a pure red. It's kind of a pinky red. I have a lip balm. It smells like oranges. It's from Avon. I have a Katy Perry Covergirl lipstick in Pink Paws. That's what that one looks like. I have an Avon lipstick in Lucky Kiss. That's that one. I have another Avon lipstick. This one's in Frozen Berries. That's that there. I have a Urban Decay Vice lipstick in Heartless. I, I do enjoy these lipsticks. They're not as good as the um, Revolution lipsticks, but I do enjoy them. I just want to use them before they go bad and that's that one there. I have a 17 lipstick in a hot flash. This will probably be one that I focus on straight away because this is ages old and it's a coral pink. I have a Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in a ballet slipper. This one's close to being done and that's what that looks like. This was in a project pan from 2017 by roulette and I got to about there so I have Avon lipstick in amethyst and that's that one I have another lip balm this is the twist and pout by Revo that one's in the strawberry flavor I have another one of those unnamed lip liners this one is a red tone and that's actually quite nice sorry I have the 
P.S. Love by Primark lip liner that was again in my roulette that I did with Amanda. I have another one of those make me up unnamed lip pencil crayon things. And that's that one. I have another MAC lip liner. This is in He Said, She Said, which is a red colour. I love this lip liner. I'd probably replace it, to be honest, once it's gone. I have Jilted, which is a Urban Decay Revolution lipstick. And that's what that one looks like. Sorry for the bad swatch. I have a Laudenberry Maxi Matte Crayon Lipstick in Intimacy. Oh, no. Yes, I think it's in Intimacy. That's what that one looks like. I have another Hydra Matte from Gerard Cosmetics. This one is an Aphrodite. This is like a orange toned nude, I guess. Kind of like a pinky orange nude. I have another lip balm. This one is the Carmex Moisturizing Lip Balm in Honeydew Melon. This is the Lip Smacker in Cake Donut. This is the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Lip Balm. This is a Bagsy Full Color Chubby Stick in the shade, it's either in the shade WOW or that's just the name of the thing and it has no shade name. And that's what that one looks like. I have a Maybelline lipstick, this is the Colour Sensational Matte in Divine Wine. That's that one. I have the Gerard Cosmetics Enchanté lipstick. I was looking for this the other day and I could only find the Dragonberry one, which is also in here. I have Tequila Sunrise by Gerard Cosmetics, this was in a project pan last year as well. I have Au Naturel by Avon. I don't know why I've put this in here because this is my favourite nude lipstick of life ever. I have a Revo lip balm. This is in Watermelon. I have the Gerard Cosmetics in Dragonberry. Dragonberry. That's that one. I have the Matte Revolution lipstick from Urban Decay. This is in Bittersweet. They're actually very similar but one's matte and one's not. I have Streak, which is a cream lips, vice lipstick from Urban Decay. That's that one. I have this Lacquer & Co Cheeky Lip lip Colour in Humble Brag. That's that one. I have Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Obsessed. This is my favourite ever lipstick. There's only a teeny bit left in there. This might actually be the first to go, to be honest. And that's what that one looks like. So there's still some staining left over from those lipsticks that I just swatched, but I'm as clean as I'm going to get. I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul. That's what that one looks like. I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Tokyo. That's that one. Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Candy. And that's that one there. I have the Stilo Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bellissima. That's that one. I have the Avon Lipstick in Lovable. Oh, I just dropped that. And that's that at the end there. Where did that go? Please tell me it's not on the carpet. Um... Okay, scrap that one. That one's going in the bin because I dropped it with the thing on and it's got all carpet hairs all over it. So I'm not going to put that on my lips. Okay, I have the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in F-Bomb, which is that one there. I have the Avon Matte Fuchsia lipstick, which is that one there. I have the Avon smoochable lipstick which is that one there i have the hema long lasting color in 101 which is that one there i have the gerard cosmetics hydromat in serenity which is that one there i have the essence velvet matte in number seven which is that one there i have the avon lipstick in pink holiday which is that one there i have two more of those twist and pout by revo this one is in blueberry or blue raspberry or something blue and this one is in watermelon i have the original chapstick i have a make me up lip pencil again this has no name like the other two Let's just cover up that. And that's what that looks like. I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. And that's what that one looks like. I have the PS Lip Liner. Again, this one doesn't have a shade like the other one, but it is a red. I have an LOC by Millie Bohemian Rose Ultra Gloss Lip Pencil. That's what that one looks like. I have a Lip Smacker in Confetti Sprinkles and a Carmex Lip Balm in Pomegranate. I have the Laudenberry Lip Gloss in Skin or Laudenberry Skin Lip Gloss, whichever you want to 
that's that one. I feel like I have a hair. I have a PS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, shade unknown. That's what that one looks like. I have a Model Co Lipstick in the shade Smitten, which is that one there. I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Antwerp. That's what that one looks like. I have a Chapstick. This one is in Grape Slurpee. I have a Nivea Care and Colour Red Lip Balm. I have a Nivea Lip Butter in Vanilla Macadamia. I have the Burt's Bees in Coconut Pear. I have another NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Milan. That's that one. I have another Primark Lip Pencil. This one is in the shade Dark Pink. And that's that one. I have a lip balm again by Avon. This one's a strawberry one. It's the same as the orange one. No label. I have an Avon lip balm in pearlescent pink. And it's just kind of this white. But then when you put it on your lips, it's clear with a little bit of a iridescence to it. I have an Avon smoothing lip balm pot thing. I have a Nivea lip butter in raspberry rosé. I'll be honest, this one probably will end up like the last one I had of these, which... Oh no, it still smells pretty good. I had one that was so old that I couldn't put it on my lips anymore, so it went on my feet. I have a Nivea lip balm in the pearly shine kind of pinky, which does have an iridescence to it again. It's just the bottom there. I have a... Too Faced Sample in Naked Dolly. That's what that one looks like. I have a Raspberry Jelly Lip Smacker. I have a Gerald Cosmetics Hydromat in Immortal. And that's that one. Let's see if I can get all of these onto this. I have a Givenchy Le Rouge Lipstick in the shade 202. It doesn't have a name. And that's what that looks like. I have a Gerard Cosmetics Hydro Matte in the shade Share. That's what that one looks like. I have a Blistex Lip Balm in a Raspberry Lemonade. I have a Gerard Cosmetics Hydro Matte in the shade Ecstasy. That's that one there. I have this Maybelline Colour Sensational in Velvet Beige. And that's what that one looks like. I have a Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Brat. This is one of their sheer formula ones. That's what that one looks like. I have a Lacquer & Co Cloud Lips lipstick in the shade Daydream. That's what that one looks like. I have a Maybelline Colour Sensational lipstick in the shade Sugar Plum. That's that one there. And last of all, I have the L'Oreal palette. This is the Colour Rouge Le Palette Extravaganza. That's what the colours look like. I'll swatch these as well. And how do I... So those are the shades from the palette just there. Sorry about the swatching. I ran out of arm space. And that's everything that was in the basket. So as I said at the beginning of this video, this will be the only time that you see all of these lipsticks together. Unless... Un until the very end. And then I'll show you which ones that got used and which ones didn't get used. But during the updates, I will not show you every single lipstick because this has taken like half hour. By the time I edit it down, it'll be, what, 20 minutes? But you don't need to see all these lipsticks and me going, I've not used this one, I've not used that one, I've not used this one, I've not used that one. So I, I will spare you that process and we'll just look at the ones that I have used and how much progress I've made on them. Thank you so much for watching. In a minute, I'm going to stop talking and then you'll see the pictures from the different heights of every single lipstick. So I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon. Before I go, don't forget to check out the other ladies that are doing this collab with me, with us, I should say. And definitely see if you can get on the Facebook group if you're interested in in joining us on any collab that we do ever. That's the place to go and all the events will be events. All the collabs will be listed there so you can just join whichever one you want to. And as I said, I will link that in the description box down below. So go ahead and check that out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.